Yes, whoever ful fulfills his pledge and fears Allah much, verily then Allah loves those who are the al muttaqun So the next fruits of taqwa is that Allah loves the person with taqwa. Okay, the next one, the next fruits of taqwa or the benefits of taqwa is that Allah will honor people with taqwa in surah number 49 verse number 13. Okay, 49 verse number 13. Inna akramakum inda Allahi ataqakum inna Allah alimun khabir. Okay, surah number 49 verse number 13. If I'm going too fast, please tell me. Then I can go a bit slower. Okay, verily, the most honorable one of you with Allah is that believer who has taqwa. Verily, Allah is all-knowing, all-aware. Okay, number four. Allah will only accept the actions of people with taqwa. Okay, this is from a story of Habil and Qabil. Okay, turn to surah number 5, verse number 27. Innama yataqabbalullahu minal muttaqin. Verily, Allah accepts only those who are al-muttaqun. So, who knows about the story of Habil and Qabil? Two brothers sons of Adam and what happened yeah, they were broke. Allah created them in twins yes boy and a girl yes and they were not allowed to marry their twin yes and what happened was one fell in love with his twin yes so he killed his brother because he wanted his twin yes so that was where the first blood shed no wh why was he killed because he loved the girl and he you know before that they were asked to make an offering yeah. remember I yeah I think I think Habil Habil is a good guy yeah Habil offered some like a, like a, a lamb, okay. yeah. Whereas uh, Kabil offered like a, some plants, and Allah somehow or other destroyed the plant, mm -hmm. so it wasn't accepted. Yeah. So two, of course, depends on intention, isn't it? Allah knows who are the truthful ones. Yeah. So Allah will did not accept the uh, offering of um, Habil, uh, Kabil. Yeah. So that's why Kabil, the jealousy and everything, killed Habil. Yeah, but the, the the point of the story is that Allah will only accept those deeds from people with taqwa. Okay? Now, number five. Allah will give the criterion al-furqan and other rewards of, of people with taqwa. Okay? Turn to surah number um, number eight. Verse number 29. Al Furqan is a criterion which is so important for us. Okay. Ya ayuhalladina amanu in tatakullaha ya jaalla kum furqana wa yukafir ankum sayyatikum wa ya gafir lakum wa lahu dhul fada lil adim. Oh, you who believe if you obey and fear Allah, that means if you have taqwa, He will grant you furqan or a criterion. That means to, to, uh, 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 a means to distinguish what is right and what is wrong. Yeah? Or makhraj. Yeah? That means uh, making to make way of every difficulty. And he will expiate you of your sins and forgive you. And Allah is the owner of great bounty. So if a person has taqwa, yeah? you will able to differentiate what is uh, innovation, what is not. What is the truth, what is not. Okay? Because... I'm sure somebody in this room has been in a gathering where you, you switch off the lights and then you chant here, chant that there were people who were the kind of gathering. Somehow or other, you feel that it's not right. Somehow or other, you feel that this is not part of the sunnah. This is called furqan. That Allah... But some people think that it is okay. Okay? So, because everybody recite the same thing everybody say ihdinas siratal mustaqim yep guide us to the straight path but which one is the straight path it is Allah who will guide those whom Allah wills okay it is important for us to know that al furqan or this criterion is not given to anybody okay for some people who was I discussing with about um, oh for some people no of course I won't, won't mention names yeah that oh as long as um, I'm a good person 
that um, yes, I don't pray as long as I, I'm a good person, I will enter paradise. Okay, there are some people who say that. Yeah, some people will say that yes, I'm, I didn't eat pork anyway. I <laughs> I didn't eat pork, and you know, as long as it Bismillah is okay. As you know, a lot of Arabs has been coming to uh, in in the uh, Edgware Road and eating all this food from McDonald's and everything. Okay, this is a furqan. This is criterion to distinguish what is right, what is wrong. It is true. Yeah. And why are we so... Uh, some people are going to the extreme. Oh, must have the certificate from, you know, from this AFA, from this thing, which is good. Yeah. Um, is it AFA? HFC. HFC. <laughs> <laughs> so, HFC. HFC. Uh, H- H- HMC, H- the two, isn't it? Yeah, yeah whatever it is. Yeah. So... To the extreme, that some people can't even be bothered. So these are the criterion which Allah has stated clearly. If you have taqwa, Allah will show you every single thing. Don't worry, inshallah. Yeah. Now the next, because we have discussed five. Those people with taqwa, Allah will be with them. Allah loves them. Allah will honor them. Allah will only accept their actions, and Allah will show them the, the criterion and forgiveness. Yeah. The next one, turn to surah number seven, verse number ninety-six. Allah will give them the blessings. 7 verse number 96 Walau anna ahlal qura amanu wattaqaw la fatahna alayhim barakatin minas samai wal ardu And if the people of the towns had believed and had the taqwa that means piety certainly we should have opened for them blessings from the heavens and the earth It is a warning from Allah yes, for people in many towns last time who did not believe in Allah Okay so people with taqwa inshallah Allah will give them the blessings. Okay? Now, those the next one number 7 is people of taqwa is one of the signs of awliya. Awliya means what? Friends, Friends of Allah. Yeah, awliya. In surah number 10 verse number 62 to 63 okay. No doubt Verily the awliya of Allah That is those who believe in Allah And love Allah much No fear shall come upon them Nor shall they grieve Those who believed And used to fear Allah much Okay, these are the people who Allah has promised to be the friends of Allah. In a hadith, okay, in a hadith by uh, from Bukhari, narrated by Said Al Khudri, the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "When the funeral is ready, and men carry it on their shoulders, if the deceased was righteous, it will say, 'Present me hurriedly,' and if he was not righteous," He, it will say woe to me where are they taking me his voice is heard by everyone except men and if he heard it he would fall unconscious okay so it is a, 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 a um, interesting hadith that for people who, who died yeah and who did not believe in Allah who has no taqwa at all somehow or other they do not know where are they taking me yeah and Everybody heard it except mankind. Yeah, but those who have taqwa, they want to be presented to Allah as fast as possible. We heard this many, many times in Steps of Allah before the stories of, you know, remember we were talking about Yopi, Ethiopia? All these people about the graves, about he was involved in, Yopi was his brother, brother who was involved in taking care of to bury the, the dead. Yeah, somehow or other those people who are writers it was so light and so easy within a few hours boom, finish because these people want to meet Allah but those people who have so much sins and with no taqwa and anything it was so difficult yeah, even I'm sure Zulfika we talked about it before in hospitals of the in, in, when he was working in hospitals that and I'm sure you have seen it before those people who are unbelievers when they die it's so difficult yeah, there's so much um, so much distress whereas those people with taqwa is very easy for them to die because they want to meet Allah very fast yes yeah? so 
we make dua that we are one of the alia of Allah yeah the friends of Allah yeah the next one is surah number 65 verse number 225 